Hey guys, Marcin and here bring you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so coming very soon on Global uh, we have the Extreme Z area for Lord Slug and STR Kaioken Goku. So I know, I know, not many people like Extreme Z areas but this one is uh, a little bit different in terms of whether you should consider it a priority or not because Lord Slug is the final piece of the team that you need in order to do the Tech LR Super Saiyan Goku, the Prime Battle LR, his Extreme Z area, which we saw a thing about in the news that like the campaign for that is starting, but obviously the wiki and like the data mining shows the actual event isn't going live but this guy is the last guy that you need so we're gonna find out very very soon i've already seen screenshots of people that are over 1900 days and i believe that the prime battle easy a thing was launched as part of the 2000 days um celebration on jv so <clears throat> it is coming very very soon we just don't know the exact date and lord slug is required for um that event so Standard Extreme Z area, two stages. Uh, you get given the physical EZA Piccolo from the Hero Extermination event as the friend leader. He probably is the best leader for you to use as well. Um, so realistically, this is the reason why, even if you don't really like them, you should always be doing the Extreme Z areas because a lot of the older units are then required to do some of the newer ones. And if you don't have them EZA'd, the whole thing is just going to be a lot harder for you. Um, because before Easy A, that Piccolo's leader skill was pretty terrible. So if you don't have him Easy Aid, like he's probably the best leader. Because if we come down and have a look here at who we get to use, in terms of the actual leader skills that these units have, they're all very specific. Except for like the Piccolo has an all types leader skill, but like Krillin, you can't re you can't use him. Nail only has the Mechians. Um, the Lord Slug, like some of the summonable units who will probably be the most powerful units on the team don't have leader skills that you can really use um so you got lr krillin nail the tech gohan on icarus the lord slug himself um this is his awakened form as well so one thing i should mention is the uh this is the lord slug post easy a we'll go over his details very quickly um but this is the lord slug that we have on global at the moment because not only are we getting the extreme z area but the story event is coming back and then you'll need to farm up a bunch of the Lord Slug medals. Of course, the page is going to take ages to load. There we go. These are the ones that you would have used to awaken some of the units already. I know the physical Lord Slug uses those to awaken. Um, so first thing you have to do before you can even jump into the Extreme Z area is to go into the story event, get 20 of those medals, and then awaken this guy up to his uh, TUR um, version, which... Even pre Easy A, he's not terrible. Um, the free to play one, like before he got his awakening, he wasn't really that good at all. Um, but even like post, uh, sorry, pre Easy A, um, he's not terrible. But you have to bring him and the Goku. The Goku we obviously do have awakened already. Um, if you wanted to make the stage easier, depending on your like box, because I I feel like the team that I've built, which I'll show at the end, will very easily get through this event. Well, obviously, remember, with an Extreme Z area, what you could do, if you really wanted to, is you could do Stage 1 of the Kaioken Goku 1 to get the Bronze and the Silver Medals, and then use them to awaken him up, like, halfway through the Easy A. Then jump over to the Slug 1, and then because the, the Goku's, like, half awakened, he'll be a little bit better on that event. And then do the same thing for uh, Slug, and you can just keep awakening them, like, each step as you go along. Um... But obviously, if you have access to like all the units that are available um, and you can make the best possible team, you probably don't need to do that. Um, it's probably not going to be difficult enough that you would need to do that. So typical Extreme Z area mission set, just complete the stage a bunch of times. These are, I'm sure you've probably noticed, like done in such a way that you almost can't not complete them. I guess the only way you can is if you get like the God RNG where you get that question mark tile like multiple times. Um, and then I guess you'll just have to do it a couple more times anyway to finish out the mission and get a stone. Um, obviously, I know that's one of people's biggest complaints about Extreme Z areas is they don't really give you a lot of stones, but there you go. And then it's typical levels of Easy A medals. Um, very, very straightforward. So let's talk about the units themselves. So Lord Slug, like I said, he's the main one. Um, if you really hate doing Extreme Z areas, 
for units that you don't think you're ever going to use, then I guess you don't necessarily have to do the Goku. Um, but definitely do the Lord Slug, because for the Prime Battle LR EZA Extreme Z area, you do have to have all of the units fully EZA'd and rainbowed as well. So you have to uh, make sure you get this guy done. So he becomes a Namekian's sub lead as well as tech types. Uh, he does supreme damage, lowers defense with a medium chance to stun, which is not terrible. Uh, key plus three, attack and defense 100%, also pretty solid. Raises attack and defense by up to 30%, the more HP remaining, the greater the boost. Plus an additional attack and defense 30% when facing two or more enemies. And then he recovers 30% HP when HP is 30% or less. So that is actually pretty good. Um, at full HP, he does get quite a decent attack and defensive buff. Obviously, most people, I imagine, are probably only going to use him for the Goku Extreme Z area. So the multiple enemies thing is not going to factor in. Um, but also the ability to heal whenever your HP is low is quite good as well. Because obviously, anything that can give you free healing in uh, Extreme Z events is obviously very useful. So he does become pretty good. Obviously, remember the physical Lord Slug, once he's awakened, has a different name. So you can run this guy on... And the Mechians team, I know, the most lim one of the most limited categories in the game. Um, but yeah, after his EZA, he is actually pretty solid. And again, you need to do this guy if you want to EZA the Prime Battle Goku, who is really good once he gets his EZA. So I do think it is worth it for that reason and that reason alone. Um, because once the Prime Battle Goku gets his EZA, he is incredibly good. Um probably like brought back into relevance on quite a few teams as well so definitely uh definitely worthwhile just for him and then if we look at the kaioken goku so pre-eza obviously nothing really crazy to uh make him stand out at all um but post-eza uh pure saiyans lead for three key and 77 percent or an str types 50 percent leader uh he still greatly raises attack does supreme damage and then his passive skill attack and defense 77 percent key plus three plus an additional attack and defense 77 percent when hp is 77 percent or less there's a lot of sevens in here plus an additional attack 33 percent and a high chance of performing a crit when piccolo is on the team so yeah a little bit um restrictive i don't know if this guy's going to get added to any of the future extreme z area like events as a unit that you can use on the team because I guess in that instance, it would be quite useful because that physical Piccolo um, is very good on those events. So I guess like having them together um, would be good for future Extreme Z areas. But I don't know if this guy will be getting added to any of those. So, I mean, just looking at his passive, it's not terrible. Um, he's got a fairly standard attack and defense buff. Um, unfortunately, the three key and the extra 77% to stats when HP is 77% or less. It's not a super hard restriction to hit, but I don't like those kinds of passives. Um, because depending on the event that you're going into, like if you have him on your first rotation when you're on full HP, he's not getting that. And then depending how strong your team is um, and how much sort of healing you have built in or whether you need to use an item because you took a ton of damage on like the next turn... Um, you may find yourself not really hitting that um, threshold all the time. Um, but of course, if you do have a Piccolo on the team and you have them all active at the same time, he is getting a pretty big buff, like close to 200% attack. And then he greatly raises attack on Super as well. So he, I would say he's a pretty solid like free-to-play card. Um, but as I was saying earlier on, like you don't need him for anything in particular, whereas obviously you want the slug for the uh, Prime Battle EZA. So let me jump over to the team screen here quickly and we'll show you the uh, team that I've built. I think this is probably the best team for it. So we've got the Piccolo as the lead because he has the all types leader skill. Um, then we've got Nail. I have a couple of dupes in mind. So obviously with Extreme Z areas, whenever you can bring a summonable unit, it probably is best to do so because their power level is generally higher than most free-to-play units. Um, and then, of course, here's the Lord Slug. We don't have his Awakening yet, so we need to get that done first. And then we've got the Kaioken Goku, the LR Krillin, probably the most powerful unit on the team, I would say. And then I bought the physical slug as well, simply for the fact that mine is rainbowed and obviously he's going to link up really well with the other Namekians. So I would probably just run like full Namekian rotations and have the Krillin and the Goku as floaters. Um, 
probably using like nail and a piccolo together and then maybe like the two slugs because obviously like i say once the uh tech slug is awakened he's actually pretty good and then yeah i have no uh no doubt that this team will fly through that extreme z area incredibly easily so there you go should be an easy event to do make sure you do slug even if you don't do goku and then obviously i will put out a video going over all the prime battle stuff once we know exactly when it's coming um, but yeah, I think this should be another quite straightforward and easy Extreme Z area. So if you have any further questions, let us know down below in the comments. Um, obviously, if you need any help with putting the team together, because I know, like I say, some of them just really don't have good leader skills. Um, feel free to ask in the comments or check out the link to the Discord because we have team building sections and stuff over there as well. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.